Hello, welcome to the Don Ellis Gatlin Show. That's me. Yeah. And I got my amazing bandmate guitarist to my right here, Mr. Tony Hahn. And we're going to start out with a song by my hero, my favorite singer of all time, Mr. Elvis Presley. It goes like this. Wise men say Holy fools rush in But I can't help Falling in love with you Shall I stay? Tony on! Oh, folks, I hope you're ready for an exciting time tonight. We have an amazing, awesome guest. His name is Kenny Thomas, and we're going to get him up up here right now with the rest of the guys. Kenny! Good job. Thank you. This guy is absolutely amazing, and I'm uh, so glad you're here. You traveled, you. you traveled away. You flew over. I flew from this state right here. You flew by yourself and your beautiful dog. Yeah, he's a good co-pilot. Unbelievable. Key. Key, buddy. Well, we'll get this thing kicked off right off the bat. Dude, good song. I, I Thank like, you very I felt, much. I, I feel like I was, should be like gambling love, at the casino. I, well, you know what? I love Elvis. And uh, one of my other top, top favorite singers, a very important uh, guy in my career, is the great Mr. Kenny Rogers. And this first song, you're going to start things off, get the ball rolling for us, is you had Kenny Rogers on your record on this song you're going to do for us to kick things off. Am I right or am I right? Not on this song. Am I wrong already? You're already wrong. You're fired. Right. I'm fired already. Take the day off. Well, take, folks, trust me out there. Kenny the Rogers, off. he's been in the studio. Kenny Rogers came and sang with him. A, a bunch of other great artists you've worked with. He did. But this, did anybody, anybody special on this record? Um, no. Yeah, Nobody so, but so Kenny. Here, here's, the, here's, here's, what, here's the thing about this, this song, So right. the Shreveport. Y'all fooled me already. When, when we sat, the, the record that we did with Kenny Rogers and right. Amy Lou and everybody, all the great people that you remember that came in on it, Incredible. We had done this, it was a flags or fuss. So we did this military 
tribute, basically. Right. Some of the songs were heavy, some of them were light, but it was really kind of the life of what a soldier might live and songs that they would right. do. So somewhere along the line in Nashville, you have to kind of expand your career is what I was told. Like, you got to write about things that people know because there's only 1% of America served and, and listens to country music and served in the military. You know, You're one oh, of those percent, yeah, I, I by the way, thing. everybody. Thank you for your Thank service. Thank you, for, uh, veterans. So I sat down, and I'm like, okay, well, i got to write a love song. And I'm like, well, surely I'm not the only guy that's gotten into a 1970 Dodge Dart with a slant six engine and driven across the country because you thought the girl in California really wanted to see you. Man, only, you're cool. Only to find out that when you got there, she was perfectly happy with the dude she was shacking up with. Oh. So you had to turn around in your slant six dart and drive all the way back. <laughs> That's a long and drive. So uh, Billy Montana wrote this song. Uh, Love Shreveport Billy. Shreveport to L.A. is the name of this. Kenny one. Thomas, everybody. <laughs> yes. Huh? Oh, I am.
Jim. That was in honor of uh, your That's Elvis. what I'm talking about. That was Elvis right there. That <laughs> was. That is a darn good way to start the show right there. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, awesome. Good job. K. Thomas, everybody. Yeah. You know, one of the important things about uh, being in a band, when I used to always tell the guys before we'd get on stage, I'd be like, okay, it's very important that you don't suck. Right. That's always, that always helps. We do not suck tonight. No, this that's awesome. Good. How about the guys? Tony Hahn on lead guitar. Tony Josh Borkheimer on the drums. Scott Pope. I went blank for a second. Scott Pope on the bass. Yeah, the bass is the key. Jay Smith on the Fidel. Fidel. Awesome. They call it the bass because it is the basis of everything. It's true. It, we don't have a wiggle the on our button. That's the butt and the wiggle. It is. So that song, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, to, it comes from him. So um, that Do song, it. they were right. Everybody related to that one. And it went, it, it peaked out at number three, but that was our, that was our big hit. We were all, and it, who saw it coming? Not me. Hey, it's a, it's a great tune. Thank and you. Billy's one of our uh, best friends. Billy's amazing. Montana, just shout out to Billy if he's watching tonight. He's actually our, our first guest on our first show. Billy was our guest. He's a, he's a good primary guest. Now, of course, I know that the uh, the military is important to you. Yes, it is. You've done so much. I mean, uh, it's, it's an amazing story. It really is a special story. You've done uh, so much. And if you uh, explain a little background, you can obviously tell it better than me. But uh, you're, you're a very, very awesome decorated ranger. And again, we appreciate you very much. Like decorated, like, like home. Well, you've, done, goods you've gotten like rewarded for your oh, service. I got, I got you. Thank yes. you. Yes. And uh, can you tell a little bit about our public after so, watching? Yes. Watch so, um, for those who don't know the backstory, I, the, I served in the 75th Ranger Regiment and 3rd Ranger Battalion. They, back in 93, everybody, anybody seen the movie Black Hawk Down? So that was a handful of guys. It was a special operations package, Task Force Ranger, what we were called. Yep. It was some Delta Force guys, some um, Rangers, 160th Special Operations Air, uh, Air Wing guys. They were over there at Fort Campbell over in Kentucky. Right. We, we've played over there before. That's right. Um, and there were some Navy guys with small tattoos of sea mammals on their arms. They, don't like to, they never like to talk about who they are. But you know how you know a Navy SEAL when you meet them? They're what? They'll tell you. Um, so... Um, <laughs> So, but we were all together, and we went in on this manhunt, and, and uh, the mission went great. Like, I mean, as far as the as mission could go, and I know it always sounds like I'm bragging. I was like, there are people shooting, but it really, it really wasn't that bad. And it wasn't that bad because they were missing, which is Which key. is always good. Yeah, which is, which is preferred. Always and, good. And, and um, so we finished the mission, and we, and we were wrapping it up. We got the bad guys out of the building, and that's when the helicopter got shot down. Right. The first one got shot down, and uh, the battle... Uh, then was to now go secure that crash site and go help those guys. And, and that's kind of what, as yeah. history would know. It was a long, long fight. So it fought through the night. And what I think I learned most from it now, where I, thank you. Cause so just wasn't, so used it, to having a mic, you're like, it, it, it was, I don't know what to do with my hands. Um, yeah, so it wasn't like some of the movies you see in Hollywood where you, you, they come one at a time and, and you right. take on right. 50 guys and, 50 just, of them, yeah. and you come out with a little, little nick right here. Yeah, I, they, it's a... <laughs> <laughs> it's a different it's a different reality and right. I think what you learn from it when you come out on the other end is the value of the people on your left and your right. Mm. And if you if you were to talk to any of our, of us or any veteran for that matter that's that has come back to the real world their biggest challenge is how do you find that bond? Like oh. we this is an anomaly for us. Like we're we're lucky. Like we always yes. have some we have a little bit of a bond musically we got something we can we can connect with. And I think your music is so good and so real because you put your experiences in what you're dealing with in real life. And I think it's so important for people when they hear your music, they know this is real. This is this is a story Kenny's telling that there's a lot of, you know, true things that happen in these songs. Yeah. I think that it, separates you from a lot of people. And I mean does. that in a great way. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, some people can write about things. You write about what you know. And yeah. and um so it's always been sort of a tribute to to those guys uh, that, uh, because I, I just know by the grace of God, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them. So I always, I always make sure that they're in my, mm. they're always in the mention. Like that's when we sat down and talked about what do we want to talk about tonight? And I said, right. just, let's just talk about Your life is so better. incredible. Okay? Yeah. It's so incredible. Uh, you've achieved so much. And I even, now speaking of Hollywood though, in a roundabout way, it did come to Hollywood because uh, after the book, I think it was a book written about the story first, right? Mm -hmm. And then it turned into a Hollywood film where they called up you to be yeah. the consultant right. on that film, right? Yeah, if by consultant you, you mean we got 
uh, drank a lot of beers with the actors and got drunk. <laughs> yes. I didn't know that part. Yeah. We, no, I, so there was another movie getting made at the same time that, that was We Were Soldiers. Remember the Mel and Gibson movie? And you're in movie? that. Yeah. So that was the one I got to be the military advisor on. It just happened. I just, sh here's the thing about Hollywood. Just keep showing up be, and don't suck. Like, show up, don't suck, do your job. And, and they were like, well, you should That's come. another really good movie, though. Black Hawk Down right. and We Were Soldiers. So they're both Two getting made at the films. same time. Yeah. If you go watch Black Hawk Down, there's a buddies of mine that are in that because they sort of infiltrated the movie set. It was filmed yeah. over in Morocco, and they just showed up on the set and kind of got in there. And, and I remember you telling me a story about Mel Gibson, how they, they like these guys, like, are like it, it amazed you, like Mel Gibson could be like so like joking around. And then you, I remember you told me it was a feel a real important scene that he was. How uh, do you remember? This no, I, I remember everything. Oh, Good Lord, does he do this to you? Uh, <laughs> yes, yes. Wow. And, and you said that he was like literally like joking around, and they said action. He was directing that film yeah, too, wasn't he? He was. And oh he, no, Randy Wallace. Oh, okay, from, okay. From, uh, Braveheart. Movie. That's another. Oh, jeez. Yeah. And um, he said he broke into like he turned it on the tears, real yeah. tears, like that. There's a scene in the movie, and, and we were soldiers, where uh, Mel Gibson is surveying the battlefield, and it's the the aftermath and this very heavy scene. Yeah. And two minutes before that, he's standing around like us, just talk, telling jokes. He's certifiably nuts. Like, I don't know why we think that he needs to be this perfect person in the real world because he's, he's genius because he's yeah. nuts. And he's, yeah. in there, he's telling these stories and he's joking around. And they're like, hey, picture's up. And he's like, hang on, guys. And he walks over to the front on the camera and rolling. And he's like, starts crying. Everybody's all emotional. And they go, uh, that's a take. Cut. And he's like, okay, so anyway, where was it? And you're like, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Holy cow, wow. dude. Yeah, he was, he, he, he was genius. He, he is amazing. You got to see it firsthand. You got to see it firsthand. I, now, our actors, like a lot of these guys, they're, they're you know, he's a tough guy in the movies. He is. I mean, Lethal Weapon, he was whooping some butt. Yeah, that's more These guys of are like little, though, really aren't is. they? The actors are little, aren't they? A lot of them. Yeah, yeah, like, he's not a big guy. He's a little guy. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. no, Mel's not. He's, he's, not? he's okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm curious. He stands tall. Was, uh, how about going from little to another big song uh, with a band? You want to do another song? Yes, sir. That is why we're here. That is true. That's part of the reason. That's one of those weird things. That's like, part of the reason. Like, like, it's like sort of like the encore. Now, what song are you doing? Because um, I'm all confused. Well, okay, so let's do, let's do something fun. So um, there's uh, when you and I would sit down and write songs. So Nashville, for those of y'all who don't know, here's what's good about Nashville. Every morning we get up as writers, and it's a job. Like, we treat it like a job. We come up, and we get, come in to write, and we get in at, at least like 10, 30, or 11, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, early. Yeah. Early. early. We were up. <laughs> Discuss and, an idea and, and go to lunch. And then we go to lunch, and then we come back. But these are how all these big, like, you know, Billy's songs, like yeah. the Garth Brooks hits and the Bring on the Rains, that's, that's how they're all written. We sit down and we, we hammer these things out, and you always get something that's good. And on this particular day, we sat down, like, damn, man, we need to write something that's paying, that pays the rent. Like, what, like I, I love writing military songs. We got to write something that's fun. Like, what, and what do people, what country music want? What's radio want? And, like, well, they can never get enough of songs about. Mexico. I it's, love it. It's an easy song. So One of look, my favorite James even, Taylor yeah, songs But even Mexico. not even yeah. knowing the song yeah. yet, you already know what's going to happen, right? We're going to go south of the board. We're going to do something we should Tequila's have Tequila's going to be involved. And, and it's going to rhyme with uh, Senorita and the drink. Yep. Mar margarita, thank you. Yep, thank you. And you're going you're gonna to do something with somebody you shouldn't have done it with. Right. And you're going to wake up and be like, what happened? And that's... There'll be no animals involved, though. No okay. animals. <laughs> and... <laughs> The, and the beautiful thing about Mexico is there's only two words in the English language that even rhyme with it. And they're both gas stations. <laughs> so, I yeah, love yeah, it. Yeah. So having you know, said that. What's the song called? Mexico. Mexico. Wait, 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 let's check it out. Hang on, hang on. Guys. Mexico. Kenny Thomas, everybody. Wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm tuning, dude. We're, we're just, this is like. You're this, tuning. This, this is the, Folks, this, you do not get this on the this record. This is the right album. Now. This is the album version. This, <laughs> you don't this, get it if on you the live, album. If you buy it. If you've got, go and download this album. You'll hear an uh, a acoustic beginning. Okay. You ready? You ready? Get it. Here goes an upset song about a trip gone wrong down in Mexico. Mariachi band and a girl with a tan met at the Texaco. We're singing, I, I, I fell in love with the wrong senorita. I, I, I want too many margaritas And how it all happened, I don't know No, I blow Espanol Another sad, sad song about a trip gone wrong down in Mexico Here we go, yep, we were heading up a 
spring break Cobble wobble can't wait Gonna have the time of our lives But the cooler's running low So we found a Texaco Holding for another bag of ice She was leaning on my front hood Woo, she was looking good Couple of Coronas in her hand She sent a new and tell Let me show you around Me and her mind Now she would love to meet your friend come on the show, maybe we'll have a budget and we can get a whole mariachi band. It'll be great. Well, I knew I was in trouble when I started seeing double. I was singing with a mariachi band. Maria does the rumba and I'm singing La Bamba. Is that a preacher with a Bible in his hand? Yeah, and then I woke up in the bed. There's a pounding in my head. Maria says, wait no steals me more. And there's a Grounds for a divorce. It's really not a bad song, after all. <laughs> About a trip gone wrong down in Mexico. Yes, I love that song. Dude, that, that was an amazing follow, guys. You guys killed it. That was fun. Yep. Where did you go? Did you check I'm right over here. Oh, okay. I'm right over here. I got this whole area to myself. All right. Guys. All five feet of it. <laughs> hey, Jared, I, I'm going um, to unplug for just a second and get tuned, or you just mute me so I can tune. Speaking of Jared, we got Jared, John, Matt <laughs> making the show happen. They're awesome. You know, the uh, we mentioned earlier, you've worked with some amazing people in this town in Nashville, Tennessee. Got to work with Emmy Lou Harris, Kenny Rogers. Sure, no doubt. Uh, you did a great record. It was, I think it was released as a single that Blackhawk, wonderful group that I always admired, uh, Henry Paul and the guys. Yep. That they sang on the record with you. It was really cool. It was one of my favorite records. I, I really, really loved that one. Yeah, we had a um, well, Brent Mayer. Who, you right. Know, Brent, right. Brent's like a Jedi of producers, and and Brent started calling in people when we were do, when we did this Flags Our Fathers record, and right. man. Everybody said yes. Yeah. I remember walking in one day and. Can they and still get that album? Can they get it on Spotify and all those kind of yeah, things? Yeah, Flags is still out there. Check it out. Flags are our, our fathers. fathers. And uh, I walked in the studio and Emmy Lou Harris is there. And even if you didn't know who Emmy Lou was, you would know she was somebody. 
because she right. just has this presence. Yes, yes. And so she goes in there and she's listening to the track and she starts singing her part and she politely trashes me. It was awesome. She, she goes, oh, okay, Kenny, yeah, I see what you're doing. You're pushing it. But don't worry, Willie does the same thing. And then I was That's like, good oh. company. I go, Willie. She goes, yeah, Nelson. And then we're, oh, Willie Nelson. Yeah, and then she comes in and she starts talking about the war effort, because this was early, man. The war was just going over in right. Iraq. And so she right. starts talking about how, you know, when we grew up in the 60s, uh, we just really, we didn't, we didn't treat the soldiers the way that, we, that they deserved to be treated. She said, Bruce and I were talking about that the other day. What can we do to help with our name? And I was like, Bruce... Springsteen. Yeah, I'm a yeah. different crowd that she's hanging with. Didn't you get to have, did you end up having dinner with Bruce? I did. How about that, folks? Wow. Yeah. You, you killed and me. Then, and then he stayed at the table w with his son, and I had to go up and sing. And I'm, and I'm going, okay, I'm going to play this song now. And Bruce Springsteen sitting yeah. behind me, and everybody's going. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. How did something like that come about? I, I'm asking. Military. I'm going to tell awesome. you that most of the really, the pretty cool things that I've gotten to do in this lifetime, um, with the exception of my family, Heidi, Jet, and little Scarlett. Hope they're watching tonight. I know they're watching. Heidi, Heidi rounded up everybody that she knows up That's there great. in Ohio, That's which great. is like six. Uh, six people. Six, six cities. Oh, six cities. So, yeah, no, not six people. <laughs> That's you and me. That's yeah. Right. And so the, the, what was I talking about? Was You're it talking good? about how much you... Uh, are a fan of me. Yeah, that's exactly no, what I was talking about. No, you're about. talking about Emmy Lou. You're talking about all the things, the great things happen because of the military. Like Correct. Me, so Bruce, all, all and the having dinner with the Bruce. The cool things that you get to do, what you find is that um, because I was a veteran, doors get to open, and there's just a level of respect there. And so when those yeah, doors gosh, open, yeah. you go in, and I, I, f I have found that if you're genuine and your intentions are honorable and that's your end state is to make sure that you honor the men and women that serve and that it's not about, you know, uh, floating your own boat yeah, and, and banging your own drum. Yeah, right. yeah, it's yeah. not about that. Then I think people see, get that. Yeah. Well, that's what I said about the music earlier. That, that's why the, I love your music because it's, uh, you're doing some fun songs tonight, but, but I also love the song. I do love the songs yeah. that you sing about your, your experiences in the military. Hey, Don, your let's life. do Cause it. Because that to me is, is, is unique to you. You know what I mean? And I, I want to say, I want to ask you this question. I'm curious about this because I don't know the answer to this, believe it or not. I don't know the answer to something. What? I know, man. <laughs> um, now, what, what inspired you to uh, the music? Like, uh, um, what, was there an artist on TV? There was there somebody that, that, that you loved as a little boy that you wanted to pick up guitar and start singing songs? Um, like, who was that? Mo what was that moment? Do you man, have a moment there? I would there? say there was a moment, but it's, it's just a disease. Yeah. Yeah, you're, you're born with it and you can't shake it. But there wasn't like a, like a moment like you heard, like, oh, my gosh, I love that. Well, now I, that? Knew, I knew when I wanted to be on a stage, and that, there was a moment for that one. And I'll, we'll talk about that later because I think we're going to do. Uh, we're yes, gonna, we're but I also want to say, like, I want to ask you a question, too. Did you perform uh, while you were in the military? Did you perform? Yes. So I was that guy. I was the guy that had the guitar. That, I was curious about it. I didn't know the answer to that either. Right. Like, were you really like, hey, sing us a song, Kenny, come on. I learned to play the guitar in the Army because you can't carry a piano. That's true. Yeah. Very, very heavy. Yeah. Very, I learned that. Very, very heavy. And, I learned that very And much. I learned to play. And that was fun. You know, we get to hang around and with some downtime, and you play songs, and you just kind of learn to play I what bet the guys want it, was, it, was, it could be, uh, again, I don't know, um, but I bet it could be a big tension reliever, too, in, in situations where, like, if you could just take them, take them somewhere else for, yeah. for a few minutes. You I know? think if you were to hang, and this is an interesting thing. I, I, someone pointed it out to me. If you were to hang around with a bunch of us as, as, as ranger buddies and, and operators and we're sitting there talking, we would it would be a very light, joking conversation about things that most people would go, that's kind of weird. You guys have this weird, sarcastic humor about everything. Do you just not c care or feel? It's like, no, it's not that. But if we were serious about the everything that should be serious, we would it would be overload for us. So I, we needed I, that. I admire y'all so much. We need that mean. that release and and music. Thank God for me was when I got out. I fa I got out and got the uh, Brent got the writing deal, got the yep. record deal, and so it was an, a it was a transition of passion. Mm -hmm. I didn't have to do what a lot of the men and women are doing right now, where they come home and they're just they're like, okay, where do I fit in? Like, it's, it's the hardest thing. Who's I mean, on my left? Who's on my right? What am I doing? Control, uh, uh, I've got relatives of my own that that. Uh, um, were in the military a long time, and they're wonderful people, and they, they were in charge of some very important things over there. 
and just really, I mean, you, they were charged a whole groups and, and right in the thick of battle sometimes. And then they come home and they got to get back in civilian life. And they don't, you know, they don't have a great uh, musical passion like you do and can write songs and sing and perform. They have to find something for them that works, and it's hard. It is. It's hard to get back in the group. Really, it's hard to find. I mean, it's, we call it the transition. Yeah. So the transition is difficult, and the, and, the, and the advice when people go, well, how did you do it? I'm like, you know, for what you're going to have to do is, because what you'll hear is folks, veterans will say, yeah. man, people don't get it out here. They just don't get it. They're all looking out for themselves. I'm like, you know, I just don't know that they, they, weren't suppo they aren't supposed to get it because they didn't join the military, but you get it. So why don't you go share what it is that you know and start setting Not, the right. example for nice. others to follow? Yeah. And sooner or later, you know, you're, you won't, maybe you won't change the institution, but you will change the two or three people that are around you. So set the example and learn, do what you, what you ta were taught when yes, you wore sir. the boots. Yes, sir. Because, I mean, that's the, basically, it's a, and that's a fantastic transition into this I was just song. Gonna <laughs> because it's, it's I was about, just gonna we sat down yep. this day, that day, Billy and Brent and I, and he's like, well, what do you want to write about? And I'm like, Setting the example for others to follow in situations this is a that great are tune. tough. It's a great tune. When, even when you would would rather say not me, and and immediately Brent starts telling a story about um, how he was a coach, and he he didn't want to be a coach. He was just dropping his son off at Little League, and he was the only dad that showed up. And they thought he so they handed him the clipboard, yeah. and he's like, well, not I've me. Done, I've done not, that. Not me, right? And and there and then seven years later, he's still. My, the coach. Mom was doing the uh, the uh, football game. Just want to watch my son play. And the next thing you know, I'm doing the uh, the uh, the uh, sticks. <laughs> the, 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 you know, the first down sticks. Whatever, the sticks. They call, whatever they call. We're gonna check Don for the sticks. Hey, we need somebody to work the sticks. Oh, I'll oh, do it. Yeah. <laughs> I've been there. So this is a song about uh, doing the things that need to, the tough things that need to be is done. Is Jay gonna play fiddle with you Jay's on this be, one? Jay is definitely gonna play. Um, he, the and you're gonna play the part of. Vince Gill and Emmy Lou on this song because uh, they both sang with me. Okay, I'll try. Words are not best. me. Not me. Yeah, that's, that's all you got. I remember this song. One, and folks, if you just join us, three, this is Kenny Thomas, four. our special guest, Don L. Scatlin Show. Great song. Judge says you're the oldest, makes you the legal guardian. I'm sorry how you lost your focus, there's no next of kin. Brother and the sisters, you know how hard it's gonna be. But she softly said, I'll raise her, while the voice inside her screamed.
by the final roll call today. Well, the finest soldiers, it was my privilege to lead. They deserve the medals, the men who died, not me. Just did what I was called to do. Do the same if it was you. Not me, Lord knows, not me. But the world becomes a better place. Someone stands and leads the way, steps forward. Kenny good Thomas, job, James. that was yeah. awesome. It's pretty, isn't that it? That was awesome. Yeah, good My job. My goodness, folks. Amy Lou Ellis, right Woo! there. Look at the, you. I'm having a great time. I hope everybody out there watches this all over the world. Uh, we've been having folks, uh, we've been having folks watching from Switzerland, Switzerland, from the UK, all those great places. And we're really appreciate you, folks. Yeah. Thank you very much. All over the yeah. world watching. Good for you. We've great, been hard great to make this guest happen. tonight, <laughs> Kenny Thomas, everybody. Now. I've seen you on just a lot of TV shows over the years and in movies. Mm -hmm. And uh, one episode, there was a guy, Louis C.K. And uh, this show was like the show to watch. It was def must see what a TV, uh, his show that he did. Yeah. And next thing you know, my buddy Kenny Thomas on the, probably the best episode he ever did uh, is starring in this episode. I mean, starring in it. With Louis. Yeah, we went on a Louie and I went on a USO tour together, and man, I, I didn't even know he was as big as he was. And he then he comes back, he calls me and says, Hey man, I want to do an episode about our USO tour. And I'm and he said, Can you help me get back over to Iraq? I'm like, Yeah, but they're not gonna let you go over there and just shoot your thing and turn around and come back. We're gonna have to stay for like two weeks. He's like, Ah, oh, we'll shoot it here in America. And, and so we shot it over in California, and I showed up on and I I, I still didn't know how big his show was. And we Huge. Got, so Louie, if you guys were ever fans of his show, one of the cool things that I admired about him, he did most of it himself. Like he, it was like this, yeah. it was a skeleton crew, and he, he would edit on his laptop as they shot. And so Louie's trying to, uh, I think I was telling you a story. Yeah. So he's trying to, he gets there, and there's, it's California, right? So, and they're freaked out over there, because they're all like, everything's union, and there's dudes. Like he, Louie's like, what's your job? He goes, uh, I lay carpets over rugs. <laughs> Goes, that's your freaking job? He's like, yeah. How much are you getting paid? Like he's getting, he's getting pissed <laughs> off, right? Because everything's costing him money. Oh, and so man. they have a helicopter in the scene, and he, all he's worried about is how much the helicopter's Go costing ahead. him fuel. Yeah. So the helicopter lands. We jump out of the bird, and it's a walkthrough. You know, they call it blocking, so the camera guy knows what right. he's supposed to. So we walk through. We walk into the tent. We play. He says some jokes. We play our song for the soldiers. It was real soldiers. They brought the military base out. See, that, I didn't even know that it was all just in California. I thought you guys actually went over there. That's yeah, how they, it looked. It looked. Yeah, it they looked did a good, good job. They it did a really good. good job. And we're, we're so we're playing. We get done, and and he and Billy's go. All right, man, that was great. Next scene. I'm like, dude, that was a walkthrough. He's like, nah, nah. <laughs> he totally got you. <laughs> yeah, he totally, totally got busted. you. So again, it's important not to suck. Uh, my son and I uh, saw him in <laughs> concert here in Nashville. It was 17,000 people. I mean, a comedian walking out to a sold out 17,000 seat yeah. venue. Say what you want about Louie, but man, I'm gonna stand here right now. I will not be one of the guys that, that pulls out the lynching party on that guy. He is a solid you need to, American. You really shouldn't pull out anything when you're talking about kids. Don't, 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 yeah, don't pull anything out on this show. He, um, that's a whole nother channel. He, um, he, uh, that's, that's Don Ellis something, yeah, double X. <laughs> We're, um, Louis ratings, was think, yeah. passionate about the troops. There was, I remember one night we were in Iraq and um, the, the generators went out and there was no power and they're trying to, someone's scrambling. You can hear somebody's yelling at some private, like, what, it's your fault, you know, I don't know, sorry. And Louis walks out there and it was probably 1,200, 1,300 folks standing yeah. in the cold 
stands out there and does this whole thing with no mic, just yelling it out and holds it down. And I, just, I admire those uh, entertainers. And I, I'm sure you guys are probably get, they pr pretty move up on the street cred when they when they go over there. Uh, I know lots of people like Elizabeth Banks, uh, yeah. actresses like that. I remember Robin Williams used to do that a he lot. He did. He did a lot of used them. to go over a he lot. Did. Zach's the Zach Brown is oh, real that, passionate I love about Zach it. Brown. Zach goes over there a bunch yeah. and. Uh, Kelly Pickler, when it, it, what, you, what happens is when you actually make the commitment and say, okay, yeah. I'm going to go spend Christmas in Afghanistan, because who doesn't want to go to Afghanistan for Christmas? And they all go, and they, they get addicted to it, because they yeah. realize there's no better audience on the planet. Those folks are I've so never done appreciative. It. I've had a long, I've been a very blessed career. I've never done that. I always have wanted to do that. And um, so if you know anybody, if you ever have a, any, yeah. uh, anybody falls out and you need somebody, okay. call me. Someone falls we'll out. We'll do it. At least me and Josh will. We'll do it. But no, we'll all do it. We'll all do it. But I'll tell you what. Another film that you were in, and this was a big hit film, Ooh. and it starred uh, um, a Tennessee's own. Yeah. She's from Tennessee, yeah. Reese Witherspoon. Yeah. And it's a great film. It's called Sweet Home Alabama. You ever heard that one? And there, that's yeah. It's one of my favorite movies. It's a great movie. It's it's a, it's a great <laughs> film. It's and so, so there's a, a big, check every month. It's pretty. Well, cool. this guy's in that film also. And there's a great scene. It's a very important scene, I think, in the film because it kind of uh, connects playing everybody. The song. They're right. playing the song. And they're connecting the, yeah. the, the, the relationships in the film. The old boyfriend with the, you know, the old husband with the. It's a big scene in the film. And they're dancing together. This guy, this was not in the show, I'm putting this on him, but he performed this song. If you watch the movie, it's Kenny doing this song by Leonard Skinner, a little song called, obviously, Sweet, Sweet Home, Alabama. Home Alabama. And we didn't plan this. I'm putting this on him. Can we do it? You want to do it? Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, I'm going to tell you a story about that song. All right, give it to me. So w Disney was the actual producers behind the movie. So they, um, we, we, we lucked out. They were in Atlanta, Atlanta shooting some of the movie in Atlanta, and we were playing that night. Cornbread was playing in, in Atlanta. And they came right. out to see the us. The band, yeah. And like, man, we want to get you in the movie. And so we, we finally get there. We're in the movie. And so now you're going to go do this big-time recording. I hadn't come to Nashville yet, so I'd never right. been That's in a right real before. studio. Right, right. So like this, I'd never been in anything right. pro like this. And, and I was like, man, how do we, how do we do? What do we want? Like, just you're gonna come in, you're gonna play Sweet Home Alabama. We're gonna have a couple songs for you to play, and just we're gonna use them for the soundtrack. I'm like, okay, great. Here's what I found. Who doesn't know how to play Sweet Home Alabama? We all thought we've been playing it for years. The engineer had just left the Brian Stetzer Orchestra from oh, wow. Hollywood and came to Atlanta the, the night before. And so we're in there, we're tracking, we're like, sweet home. He goes, he goes uh, hey guys, stop for a second. This, this is really bad. <laughs> we're like, what? <laughs> this is really bad. We're playing like we've always played it. <laughs> we're we're playing like we're, and we realize, one, you get an appreciation for how good Leonard Skinner is. Really yeah, it's a great record. It's a great record. Just record. got played so much. It did. Leonard Skinner, that's a compliment to Leonard Skinner. They've got songs that are great, amazing records, but they were so good. People wore them out. Eagles got songs like yep. that. You know, the, the great, great out. bands. They're, that's just because, that don't mean the song ain't great, just because everyone wanted it and played it. Yep. This is one of those songs. So we really had to sit down and, 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 and get our chops back. And, now, and really, Reese Witherspoon, and, and, how hot is that? She's fantastic. Fantastic. Um, she's little, though, right? She tiny, is little. Tiny person. Tiny yeah. person. She, she is, seems she's like a beautiful lady. Very sweet southern person. Um, uh, her, her mother was on the set, her brother was on the set, she, she, she's very sweet. She's I love like, it. Well, exactly what you would expect. Take it from the movie, Sweet Home Alabama, the man who sang the song, Kenny Thomas, it goes like this. We'll sing it together. All right, here we go, everybody at home, pick it up. Yeah! yeah.
County. Now muscle shows ain't got the swamp up. And they've been on us like a song or two. Oh, they give me all so much. Yeah, they pick me up when I'm feeling blue. And now I've got you. Oh, I'm old Alabama. Where the skies are so blue. Sweet old Alabama. Well, I'm coming over you, Alabama. Come on, Jay. I tell you what, we are in a great, great studio. Uh, these guys, especially Jarrett back there, has been working his butt off to make the studio better, more beautiful, sounding better. John doing an amazing job on the sound. Jarrett James right there. Oh, really? We don't normally do that now on my glasses, but I'll do that. Anybody want to take a stab at that? That was beautiful. Where are we go? Well, I want to know where these people are from, too. That's really cool when they when they're from like other countries and stuff. We love Don Ellis. We had Guam. Yay. Ohio. Oh, it's ten. My brother Albert. I love my brother Albert. Yeah. He sings you know, he uh he sings really good and I uh your brother I, Albert? My brother Albert, oh, yeah. Okay. And he's like uh, I think his voice sometimes voices get, as the older you get, they get more um, distinguished and get even better. Like my brother, I think my brother's singing better than he's ever sang. So I got that to look forward. Uh, I think I got that to look forward to. Yeah, which is nice. Yeah. You know, we're, we're, getting, we're getting older. Hey, y'all, this is great. You guys are, um, one, Don, you're doing an amazing thing making this happen. You guys oh. taking the time and the resources to make this. It's a beautiful thing. I love it. And Thank it, you, everybody yeah. out there. Y'all, thanks. Well, you know what? It helps when you have an amazing guest, Kenny yes. Thomas. Yeah. That really yeah. helps. Wait, so help me out. Is that, is that a weird camera thing where we're just going... Looking yeah, up at a TV it screen. Looked a it looks weird. weird. Okay. All right. So we'll, we'll put the monitor up here so we can right. we can read them. It's all good. All right. It looked like it looked like we were like uh, like drunk in the middle of like Oklahoma somewhere, thinking we see a flying saucer. Yeah. What is it? <laughs> what is it? France. France. <laughs> we're really from France? Oh my gosh. Can you speak? Can you speak any French? We. Oui. We. Oui. Oui. That's always got his we, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Kenny, where can they, again, uh, where can they find your music? Where can they find your stuff? It, find record shops everywhere. Okay. Oh, wait. <laughs> no, yeah, there's four. <laughs> there's four. There's four of them. <laughs> All four of those places. Grimey's. Grimey's a great Grimey. record store. Grimey's a great record store. It, it is, In Nashville. It is. It was, great uh, one. It's, it's, uh, it's over on Trinity, Trinity yeah, Lane. They, they moved it. They moved it to Trinity. Yeah. Sure did. Um, it's a great store. Go to our website. I, there's the last record that we did a full length record, right. uh, an album was called Give It Away because I, I started learning that's pretty much what we were doing with our music anyway. Right. I, I was giving it away. Right. So um, there, we give it to you. Go get it and spread the word. And the songs meant something to me. They were meant enough that I recorded them and, and tracked them. And so I hope they mean something to you. But you can get everything off our website or just type. And if you type Kenny Thomas in and something doesn't come up for sale, someone's getting fired. There you go. There you go. I'm I like that. Yeah. I like that. But um, again, is there any, any uh, new projects you're working on, or any new uh, television projects, or music projects, or anything you're working on right um, now? Thank you for asking. There's, there's, there's two things. One, I want to give a shout out to 
There's a group that I work with, they're called TAPS, so Tragedy Assistant Program for Surviving Family Members. Basically, it's the family members who've lost somebody in the military. Right. TAP steps in, and they don't have any one specific way of helping everybody. They just help. They just get, okay, maybe That's you wonderful. just need a hug. Maybe you need someone to drive your kids to the school because you got to go, whatever, they come in. So not too long ago, they brought some of the family members to town and did some rights with some of us writers. So Billy oh, Montana nice. and I got to sit down with a lady who was the wife of a Maroon pilot who he had died of, he had made it home from the war, but he died of cancer from some weird complication. So she, she's never been part of the writing process, and she sits down and, and starts, she was pulling out love letters and stories and songs. Oh, nice. and, and what Billy and I realized very quickly was we, because we, we kept going, okay, we're ready, let's start writing. Okay, we got it, let's start. And we finally, we, we just did this. And we just sat. And listened. And listened. Yeah. And man, what a lesson that was for me. You know, sh yeah. For guys like you and me who are so used to having a microphone, shut your pie hole and listen. <laughs> Yes. Because some of those, that's really, she's never been able to download it. Right. And man, for some reason, like, we just, we were listening to God that day. I, I was letting people go, oh, God showed up on that, right? When is he not there? You just weren't listening. And we, 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 we got this amazing song. Uh, it was never meant to be a hit. You know, this is her, her story, but it was called Isn't It Amazing? And um, remember the, it? I'm putting you on the spot. Can you play well, no, 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 because okay. I want to okay. tell you, I, okay. I, this is the project. You asked me something new, and right. I want everybody to go check this out. Because remember yes, the band? please do. Remember the 90s? Like, they were early 2000s. They were a boy band, um, All for One. They had that. And I swear by the moon and the stars. Is that weird? We were just talking about it. <laughs> were we? Were, I, See, Frank Myers, who's a... Um, Frank, Sippy Cup Milk Myers. Yeah. Frank's our guest in two weeks. Frank, there you go. Tell, so tell, Frank will tell you all about it. So Frank yeah. spearheaded He's amazing. this. He's he amazing. spearheaded this whole project. Yeah. So those guys come in and they track the song. And man, you know, if I played it for you, it'd be, isn't it amazing? I'd just play this little acoustic yeah. song. Those guys came in and they just took it to this whole thing. And I'm talking about guys whose voices get better. You know, I don't know what they're in. They're in their 30s or 40s now, but they, they freaking I saw, them, I saw them on a, um, uh, I want to say, uh, a David Foster uh, special program, and they, they, like, they, were, they sounded maybe yeah. better than ever. Yeah. Uh, incredible. Yeah. So that would, be, that would be something I'm super proud of. Um, it's, the, it's Love Lives On is the project, but I think if you wrote in Isn't It Amazing All for One, it'll come up. There's I like love a little that. Please video. do that, folks. Uh, yeah. I know. I know. If you're if you're getting behind this thing, I know this is this is important to you. It's got to be some incredible music. It's People cool. need to hear this. Yeah, man. It's, People need to hear, there, hear and this. there's a whole bunch of uh, artists that jumped in on it and, and did some really cool things. And it's it. But they're they're very personal stories. Some yeah, of them. Yeah. Frank was talking about that. Uh, we were talking on the phone just about things and, and uh, getting uh, planning mm -hmm. out how we want to do the show here. You know, in the future. And mm -hmm. uh, he was telling me a little bit about that. Now I really want to. Dive in and hear all these songs. Yeah, uh, I'm sure a, it's incredible. It's a, He's an amazing songwriter, and I love the music you've done here tonight. Um, now, is this the song with Kenny Rogers? This is the one with Kenny Rogers. Folks, as everyone out there knows, uh, I've been uh, very lucky and blessed to travel around uh, the last year uh, doing shows with the Kenny Rogers Band because uh, Savannah Jack, we opened up for Kenny 66 times all over the world. And um, like some of the places that are coming up on our wall here. And he's been one of my heroes. And you got to do something, I'm telling you. Kenny Rogers just, just did not do this for everybody. Uh, it's very rare later in his career, too, that he, I, I don't think he guessed it on anybody's record but yours. I really think so. I know he sang with Lionel Richie back. He mm -hmm. sang on a big hit song with Lionel, did the harmony, back in the 80s, early 80s. But I have not seen him show up, and next thing you know, he's on your record. Yeah. That'd be it's a never, special it's never, moment. never been lost on me. Yeah. That's, a, that's a special and moment. You know what, he was, um, I got a, quite a few chances to see him here and there. Like we did a telethon for him one time right. and we, we were told, so hey guys, you're gonna do Kenny, Kenny Rogers telethon. I'm like, yes, I'll get to see Kenny again. And I get there and it's, it's a cardboard cutout of Kenny. I'm like, really? But I, I played his, but because he, well, he wasn't doing that day. Okay, Yeah. gotcha, gotcha. We were there. Well, I'll, I wanna <laughs> do one shout out tonight to my, actually my publisher, Three minutes away, music. Thank y'all for supporting uh, what I do and what these uh, all great songwriters do, like this gentleman right here do. Appreciate you very much out there tonight. And uh, we're gonna hear that song that Kenny Rogers is on, is on the record with Kenny Thomas. It's a great song. It goes like this. So if you get to go visit the Vietnam War Memorial in Washington, D.C., when one of our 
our soldiers or servicemen who are listed as a POW or missing in action. A cross was inscribed next to their name. You can walk up and down that wall and it would be time well spent. The idea was if one of those members made it back alive and accounted for, they put a circle around the cross to signify the circle of life. To this day, there are still no circles inscribed on the Vietnam Wall. My daddy got the call sometime in the summer of 69. Did his tour in the war, but the home he was fighting for was what he left behind. I was there that day when the telegram came and mama fell to her knees. He was a mighty good man, but he fell into the hands of the North Vietnamese. All staring back at me from that wall. Put a circle on the cross, on the cold black wall. Circle on the cross for the boys who will never come home. Put a circle on the cross.
Wow. Good Kenny, job, man. If I, got, if, I, if I got one criticism, I need you to get into the song a little bit. <laughs> Let it go. Loosen up. Scare some people. Wow. Yeah, thank Good job, you guys. That thank was you. awesome. That was all, we need pyrotechs on that. That, that, well, yeah. that was amazing. Well, yeah. That was really true. Tony, great guitar work at the end there, too. Great. Tony on, and awesome. on guitar work. How about the whole band? Oh. Awesome. Okay, now that, that was really terrific, man. That's, I'm sorry, this, That's still my favorite song to play live uh, of, of down down flat out. Yeah, I've seen down. you do you things things get broken though in that song. Things uh, chairs go flying. Guitar guitars. Hey, we have, we did have another special guest. We have Key. Key buddy, come here. Key made an appearance a couple times tonight. Thank you. This beautiful dog. Is there is there a story behind this beautiful creature? Yeah, thank you for for so Key is is a service dog. He is from a group that trains them called Southeastern Guide Dogs. Um, what they started finding was just, again, we're talking about the veterans who right. were coming home and they just felt a little bit lost, surrounded by people, still felt lost because they didn't have the parameters of the left and the right and they looking for that purpose. And they found that these dogs, when trained, were fantastic companions for a lot of these veterans. Like, I, I got best. buddies that won't, wouldn't get off their ass if it wasn't for the dogs. And so wow. Southeastern, the way that I came about it, because I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you, it was a weird. It was like, well, if I get this service dog, people are gonna think you're jacked up. It's like a scarlet letter. They're gonna be like, well, what's wrong with you? Why you gotta have this dog? And the only person is, and what I learned was, nobody cares. They just want to pet the dog. Right. The only person that's ever asked me was an eight-year-old kid. Why do you have a dog? Right. And and I answered him truthfully. I'm like, I think what Key does for me is he he slows me down. He he gets me out of my own head. Like. How many times you run into BNA in the Nashville airport and you're just fired up at people because yeah. like, this and you just we just we just did that. He right. And you you're like <laughs> and he would as much as I travel, he was always there and he would go up on the stage during all my speaking events and meet oh. all the people afterwards. And so how old is how old is Key? Four now. Oh, and four, okay. so Southeastern so does this long. all on they provide this for veterans and, and Oh, that's fantastic. What I realized he's been for me is we have sent veterans that have been in the audience have come up afterwards. And you can always tell, you know, like you always want that person who waits after the whole line's done and they're standing there and you're like, and you're smoked because you've been shaking hands and being nice. Right, and right. Like, and then you see that guy or that girl oh, yeah. and you go, okay. And you walk over and you're like, what's going on? And they're like, hey man, I wanted to, I want, do you mind if I, well, what's up with the dogs? Right. And, and then I'll tell them. And we've, I, I know that just in the people that have talked to me, I know four of them now have dogs because they've gone through the program, they've done the, the work, and it's just a, it's a blessing. It's, it's tough Beautiful on Heidi dog. at home because you know she's, your dog has a lot of hair. He does, he does have a lot of hair, but this the dog's become the, the second star of the show tonight. He is. He does. He does. People just want. Key, to you're awesome. Hair. You're awesome. I got two little two little puppies at home myself. What do you got? Sure do. I, I, you know, oh, I wish you would. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm the worst. I'm I'm the worst of that. I should know what my dogs are. It's not. It's not even. What? Shih tzu. There's a name you don't want to mess around. You guys with. are probably right. It I'm, is. What's a shih tzu? I don't know. It's a. It's a York slash terrier. I have no clue. I have no clue. But but they're beautiful, beautiful dogs. And uh, Kenny, great show tonight. And I'll, yeah, I'll, yeah. Uh, every show we do. Every guest we have on there at the end of the show, they do a song from their biggest influence. And you've got a really good, one of my favorite singer songwriters who I, I've i never seen in concert. I've, I've seen almost everybody. No. Because you can always learn good things and bad things from everybody you see. Yep. And I, I see your, I see your, your influences. He's fantastic. Yeah. And I've never seen him. I thought one time I had a chance when he was opening for Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. He did a tour with them. That's when I saw him. Is that when you saw him? Yeah. And uh, so many great songs. I'm talking about Mr. Jackson Brown. So when you asked me, hey, we're always going to do it. We're going to do a song at the right. end that was like one of your influences. And I could not. Seriously, it was a silly. Like You would think, oh, yeah, I'll do this one. And ask Heidi. I, I was walking around. I was, should I do Tom Petty or should I do Jackson Brown? I Tom remember you said Wham, too. Jackson Brown and Wham. Dude, they <laughs> earned that exclamation point. Wham! You don't just get careless whisper. Carol's Whisper's a great song. I'm just saying. Carol's Whisper's a great song. I sing that drunk in Cozumel. Yep. I did. <laughs> in, in the restaurant. 
Well, I guess it would be nice <laughs> if, if I, I could, could touch your body. I know not everybody. See, they're going to charge the devil for that. That was my, that was my biggest that was, now, See, that's technically not Wham. That's George Michael's solo. Oh! I don't, you got to go, you put the I boom, was not boom, present boom in into the my heart. Yeah. You blow the full skyline into love and stars. A jitterbug into my that? brain. What that's that? Wham. I know that's you. Wham. I know but folks, <laughs> we're going to close out the show tonight. With Let's a do. song, and Kenny's so talented, he's going to jump on piano because he plays follow that also. Me. Let's go over here. Follow, follow me. me, follow me. This guitar will fall as sure as I'm standing here with you the way you perform. Okay. Um, I'm moving it somewhere else. Or I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play it like, um, like Sammy Kershaw. I, just I, grew, up in, um, in, I, I grew up in Gainesville, Florida, which is <laughs> Gainesville, Gainesville is where Tom Petty is from. Are you sure? Where's the oh, it's, you know what? I, my bad. I didn't see the stand there. I thought he was just leaning it against there. I really did. I thought he was just leaning it against there. I went, that's not going to work. That'll, that'll fall. You've never been a roadie, have you? No, I've never. <laughs> I've been very lucky and blessed to, to do this and nothing else. Um, Here's a song. You got so this one. The story, Tom Petty is from Gainesville. Oh, yes, I know and that. When I saw them in concert, I already knew everything that Tom Petty did and I always I, I, I try and emulate the way that he tells stories in his songs and then has gets these really cool courses. I try. I don't remember ever gotten there. But what, um, at the time, my hair was long and I remember that. And I looked, according to all the sound guys at the festivals, because I would sit down and do a sound check for the piano and I'd be like, and they go, hey. And they do the talk. Like, anyone ever told you that you know, like, look like Jackson Brown? Yeah. And uh, you do look a little like. Reason I when your hair, hair was long, so that people stop calling me Jackson. I've never seen you with uh, shoes on. <laughs> you most of the I, I, most of the time I see Kenny's in his bare feet. Yes, yes. Yeah, but I had, I thought this was a country show. It was a little boots. bit. Well, no, it could be anything. <laughs> yes. Josh, 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 and I. Are, Josh is from Ohio, and I live in Ohio now with my family, and uh, we were just having some talks about the difference between the North and the South and Southerners and Northerners. But I think um, what I learned is there's good people everywhere. Yes, uh, there, is, there isn't any place like here. This is the island of misfit toys, man. Every, every, <laughs> That's and, true. And you're that lion king. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tearless. Oh, that's a different yeah. movie. Uh, well, you, uh, we need to take us out again, our special guest. Yeah. Okay, Kenny here we Thomas, go. Take us out with some one, Jackson two, Brown. one, two, three.
Woo! Kenny Thomas! You've been watching the Don Ellis Gallon Shop. Thank so, you so much for watching so much tonight, y'all. Appreciate all this band. Incredible. Yay. All the guys. John, Jared, oh, Matt. Job, we'll guys. see y'all down the road. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Take this shit on the road. How about that? Take that on the road. Mm. Great job, that was man. Fun. Great job.